Hey guys, it's Megan. Welcome back to my channel. We're not done yet because we have the regular stuff. Actually, we'll start with this first of all. So I got this little cropped hoodie, which, um, here, I'll kind of like ooh, get up more so you guys can see it. So I got this little cute little cropped hoodie that says Harvard on it um, at Rue 21. I think it was on sale for like $7. It's super, it's got like the really soft part on the inside, and yes, I wear stuff under my crop hoodie because, number one, I'm cold, because it's cold in my apartment, even though I just said it was 60 degrees today, but it's not like a warm 60 degrees because it's windy. Um, number one, I'm cold in my apartment. Number two, that whole discussion we had about my belly and love handles, I am not skinny enough to wear cropped hoodies, so that's why I have a tank top under it, but it's super soft and cute, and I like it a lot. So, that being said, let's move on. I bought this at Rue 21. So shocked that I bought this because I never picture myself wearing something like this ever. Because I have, so I have like some shorts overalls, but I was kind of iffy on those anyway. And then I tried on some like full length overalls and those looked absolutely horrific on me. So I was shocked that I liked this, but I tried it on with this hoodie and I thought it looked super cute. So maybe with like some sneakers or something. Um, but check this out. I actually bought one of these. The little freaking, um, oh gosh, what is this called? Oh, I forgot. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. I know they call it like a dungaree, like in the UK or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. I just called it the right name the other day and I don't remember. What is this called? What are you called? That literally didn't help me. But it was on sale for $7. $7! So I was like, heck, we're gonna try it. And it, so it's got this cute little... Um, like ring Z-tail Z-tail detail zipper and it just goes all the way down the front and it's got a couple of pockets on the front and then it does have one pocket on the back as well and I don't know I just really wanted to go out of my comfort zone like lately I've just been trying to get out of my comfort zone with my style and try things that I normally wouldn't particularly wear and I'm really happy I did. I actually do like that. I'm interested to see. I'm excited to style it and see, you know, how I want to wear it and if I really like it. I think it would look so cute with, like, some white sneakers and, like, maybe this underneath. Like, I just think that would be so adorable. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Speaking of styling weird stuff, this is something else that I bought. This is the last thing I got at Route 21. This was on sale for $9. Okay, so this was on sale. This was 9 This item was 9 And then the... Um, overall dress was um, seven because I, I, I got three, four things. Actually, I got four things. I'm sorry. We'll get there. But anyway, this was normally $34.99. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a size medium, I think, the dress is. Yeah, I got the dress in a size medium. It was normally $24.99. I got it for seven. This jacket, look at this bomber jacket. It's a metallic silver bomber jacket. It's got a cool like little zipper detail on the um, left sleeve and then it's got two zipper pockets in the front. I don't know, I just saw this and I thought this was so cool. I've been wanting like a cool like statement bomber jacket. Like I really wanted this one, um, I saw Ashley Brooke, she styled it in a video, she styles it a, a few, she styled it a few times. It's this bomber from Who, What, Where from the Target line and it's a plaid bomber and I love it but it's like $45 and it doesn't exist anymore and except in plus size and I just think it would be a little bit too big on me. Um, so I found this one instead and it was only $9 and I really like it. It's it's like it's pretty like a good like thick like hefty material. I don't think you could wear this as like a winter jacket but I think this would be good in the fall to keep you warm and I think I could still wear this as like a transitional spring piece. Um, even maybe if it was like chilly like on a summer evening. Um, I just think this is so freaking cool, and I really like it, and I can't wait to style it. So, there's that. And then the last thing I got from Rue 21 was just this set of earrings for $3. It was normally $6.99. Um, it's just got this really cool, so this big, long one is a cuff. That's You You cuff put the cuff up here, and then, like, the bottom part actually goes, like, in your, in the earring hole. And then it also came with, like, these little pearls and then this little other, like, sparkly set, which I really like. So I just thought those were cute. And, I mean, like, I, I just thought that one was so cool because it goes, like, literally from, like, here to here on your ear. And I just thought that was super unique and cool. And I just loved the pearls. So I was like, hey, why not? It's only three bucks. All right. Moving on. We only have two more, two more stores left. 
Um, so this next item, I was a little uncomfortable to, I was not sure if I, like, how I felt about it. Like, I thought it looked cute, but, like, sometimes you think something is cute and then it's actually not cute and you're like, hey, is this cute? And people are like, ew, no. But this is definitely something a little out of my comfort zone, which is what I've been trying to do. Um, this was originally $20 and I got it for $5. This is a large. It's from the brand Bebop and I got this at the VF store. It's an outlet. It's an outlet near me, like an outlet mall near me. Um, so it's just this off the shoulder striped dress and it has these cute little like bell sleeves. I like these sleeves though because they're not all the way down to your wrist. It's just like kind of like a t-shirt length almost. Um, and then, so it just is like a little, um, it just goes down. It's like, it's longer than fingertip length. Like if I put my arms down my sides, it's longer than fingertip length. Um, but it is like a little mini dress. And then on the back, um, it is open in the back, but I really like that it's not like showing any skin. It's just open. Um, so it's kind of like ventilation almost, but I really, really like it. And I, um, I feel like this would look so cute in the summer with like some cute sandals and a belt. Or even just with like some white sneakers like I think this is gonna be so cute I actually was shopping with my friend and she got the same one and then we bought our other friend the same one So all three of us are gonna have the same one I don't know if that's a little excessive, but I don't really care because I thought it was so, I mean it was five dollars like Like who's not gonna buy that for five dollars? Excuse me my hair and then the last thing that I got at VF I have one more store after this I swear I'm almost done. I'm so sorry you guys um, this is also from the VF store. This is from the brand Inspired Hearts. Never heard of it. It's a size medium. Um, this was originally $15 and I got, sorry, I took the tag off because I wore these to class today. Um, these really cool, they're basically leggings, but they kind of look like joggers. They've got the cool white stripes down the side. And they just have this awesome floral pattern, which is definitely not like, I don't think that someone would pick this out for me to wear. Like this is not like my style. Which I hate that because it's like, what, why do you have to have a particular style? Like I wear all kinds of weird stuff. Like I'll be like all black and like a leather vest one day. And then the next day I'm wearing like this little dress with some sneakers. Like I don't understand, you know, like I don't feel like you have to define yourself by, oh, this is my style. I wear these types of things. Like just wear whatever the heck you want. I don't care. Like nobody cares. No, literally no one cares. You do you. You do what you want to do and you wear whatever the heck you want even if it's these weird pants they're super stretchy and comfy though um they've got a little elastic waistband and they were only three dollar no holla so all right last place we're nearing the end thank goodness because this is ridiculous all right so i went to tj maxx today after class which was a really bad idea but i got some really cute workout stuff um so the first top i got is from 90 degree reflex it's in a size medium um it was originally 9.99 and i got it for eight dollars Ooh, clearance i'm like i'm not gonna lie i don't understand tj maxx's clearance section at least the athletic wear because you're really not getting a good deal at all you're getting like two dollars off i mean like two dollars is two dollars but it's not like to me that's not clearance that's like sale like sale and clearance are two different things okay tj maxx get it together you guys but anyway this is super cute. I did not think I was going to like this. So it's this really pretty blue tank top. Um, and it's got like a really cool like mesh like netting up at the top on the shoulders. And then it also has it across the back. And it has, okay, this hole looks, is deceiving. So it's got this like hole in the back. Like it's not quite keyhole, but you know what I mean. And I thought it was going to be like showing like all oh, my whole back fat. And I was like not about that. But it actually just shows like a tiny bit of like my sports bra, which I don't mind. Um, so I thought it was super cute. It's very, very, I'm honestly shocked at like the quality of this. Um, but it's very soft, very like stretchy and comfortable. And I love the way it fits on me. And I don't like how tank tops look on me usually. So, um, I like that it's not like a spaghetti strap and it's got a little bit more to it on my shoulder. It's got a little bit more coverage. So I really, really love this. The next thing I got is another tank top. So I am obsessed with these joggers. They are the most comfortable thing ever. They have awesome pockets. They're very like high-waisted, which is where I like to wear my pants. They've got the little Puma logo and they're this really nice heathered like gray. And I think there's like a little bit of black in there and white. So, I mean, they literally go with everything. Um, They're tapered at the bottom. They're the absolute perfect length. They're so comfortable and I don't regret buying these at all. 
Um, these, like I said, they're, I don't know if that part got cut out, but they're an extra small. So I'm assuming these must run big because I've never worn an extra small in my entire life. Um, they're normally $60. Like they, they have the Puma tag on them. Like they're normally $60 and I got them for $20 from TJ Maxx and I love them and I'm going to wear the absolute crap out of those. Um, the other thing I got from TJ Maxx, this is what I got with, with my gift card. Um, this, these are from New Balance. This is their NB Dry line. This, these are in a size medium. They're these really awesome heathered gray, um, leggings. These are, again, a little bit longer. They're not quite 7 eighths, but they are longer than my, like, going over my knee. So, they're kind of like an odd in-between length, but they do have this really nice high waistband. Um, so these are very high-waisted, which I really love. They're so soft and comfortable and stretchy, and I absolutely love these. I have basically the exact same pair in a tealish color that I got for my birthday from Brandon, if you didn't. But those are a full length, but they're the exact same um, design and everything. They're just a full length. So love these. And then they also have the New Balance logo on the back there. And then the very, very last thing that I got that I also didn't need from TJ Maxx is... Whoops. Should have taken that out of the bag before. This is from the brand Lime and Divine. I got this in a size medium. I was debating between a medium and a large. The large was a little bit longer, but I d decided that the medium looked like less boxy and it looked better on me, even though I felt more comfortable in the large because it was like more like oversized, but I was totally fine in the medium. I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody, but I got this for um, $20 and it is this really cute, just a very simple gray sweatshirt. And then it's got these rose gold zippers on the arm here. It's very, very soft on the inside. And I was so excited. And it's like, you're probably thinking, Megan, I don't understand. Why would you spend $20 on just a plain sweatshirt? That's a little redonkulous. Well, I thought the same thing until, guess what I realized? Check this out. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it the sleeves freaking come off the sleeves come off like ah. so okay like so in my mind I would not really pay like $20 for just a plain sweatshirt like this but I feel like you're really only paying $10 for two different shirts like look it's a sweatshirt now it's a t-shirt now it's a sweatshirt now it's a t-shirt you know what I'm saying plus I just think this would be so cute like even like with, you know, like capris or shorts or something, like I feel like this could totally kind of sachet into spring a little bit because I feel like rose gold just makes everything better. So I don't know. I just thought it was really cool. thought it was really cool. I don't have anything like this. I've never really, I've seen stuff with the zippers on it, but I don't think I've seen like a sweatshirt where the zippers literally come, like the sleeves come off. I've never seen that before. So I just thought that was super cool. Um, and... I think I, I already said the name and the brand and all that stuff, but I did get that for 20 bucks. I know. Mm -hmm. And that's finally everything. I know it was excessive, but don't worry. I'm on a no buy because I have an issue and I need to come to terms with that. And my bank account has already come to terms with that. And he did not like what he was seeing, you know. So anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry it was so long. I like really am, but I promise you the next one will not be nearly as long. We will get some other content rolling here besides hauls and Ipsy unbaggings. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, well actually it's not true. The next video after this is going to be a haul, but it's a makeup haul, so it's totally fine. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and... I can always hear my neighbors like walking outside because we have like a porch um, on our apartment building and I can hear them like walking outside and it's always weird because it's like I don't know if it's like someone coming up to my door or if it's just the people that live next to us. I don't know. It's weird. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Bye.